All right, next up is Phenoman from Austria. And once again, I'm playing with white. So let me try this move, the English. And I can pre-move G3, I like that. When I can pre-move moves. All right. So knight C3, getting grip on the center. Knight F3, castle. And how do they do it here? Probably d3 and b4 and so on, right? This seems to be the, the standard plan to expand on the queen side and to put some more pressure on this longer diagonal h1 to a8. Now b5. Okay, if you play c5 now, his light squares are much weaker, obviously. Now, okay, let me play the bishop to b2. Knight to d2. And I can go a5 just in case at some point if I want to open up the a file. Doesn't hurt. He plays bishop b7. Okay, but now I'm going to come in with my rook. He trades the light squared bishops, but it doesn't change the fact that his light squares will remain weak. Yeah, probably should take and play rook a8 and then... Yeah, actually, I don't have anything there. I can probably just retreat. Because if I play queen a1, then he exchanges and plays queen a8 with check and I cannot keep the a file. So I think I'll just take and play e4. Because you see he has the a file now, but he can't do anything with it because the, all these squares are covered by my pieces. So it's not of any use for him. And I'll switch play and play on the king side now. Go f4. Yes, rook a8, but what do you want to do there? There's nothing there you can do. So. Let me continue my play. Maybe I'll just go g4. Do I want to go g4? Maybe I'll go f5 first and then keep on expanding. g6. Uh, this is kind of what we were talking about earlier. You don't want to play pawn moves on the side where your opponent is stronger. So... Hmm. Not sure if I'm a fan of g6. Okay, now my knight is beautiful on d5, I have a huge space advantage. He can play knight f4, I can just take it off. I allowed him to activate the rook, that is true, but I didn't feel like there would be much danger associated with that. And he moves it back. Okay, now the question is how do I win this? I mean, my position is nice, but how do I actually go about winning? Okay, I'll trade the pair of rooks. And he wants to maybe play something like queen g4 check, so I'll go h3. Okay. And it would make sense for him to occupy the A file because now I'm going to occupy the A file. Hmm. I'm a little bit concerned about knight e5, so I'll play knight f3. Okay, h6 makes sense, so he spends some space for his king. Oh, actually, now I'm not having g4 covered anymore. I need to be careful, careful, careful. Okay. This guy's playing good chess now. I'm in in trouble and I also don't have any time so Finoman putting on putting up the pressure 
He has at least a perpetual, but probably he's just, well, probably it's a perpetual. Mm. Now I think he needs to give the perpetual, otherwise he might be losing. But who knows, maybe I don't have to go for a perpetual. Maybe I can get away with my king. Yes, I got away. I didn't see myself winning this anymore, but I am actually. Lucky, lucky. Um, so yeah. Oh, that's a good point here by Johann Wilhelm Möbius. F3 check would have been an improvement over Black's play because it's winning my queen. Uh, so in this position, I would need to go king f1 right away. So that was a blunder by me. Fino did a great job. I mean, positionally, it looked all very dubious, but. He played fast and he posed problems and I played slow and couldn't really cope with the problems and then suddenly come to tables turned and um, I was very fortunate to take this one home. So probably, probably here, queen d4 check and just should be perpetual. Okay, so good game, Fino. Thanks for the game.